unlucky commuters found themselves trapped on the I-240 West ramp this morning. The phone's just around the corner, dear. Separate automobiles. Said Jerry Bennett, I was two hours late for work, and I'm a doctor. I bet his patients weren't happy. Exciting news from St. Andrew's Hospital. It looks like little Michael Graves is going to pull through. Our next story is still in development, a killer at large. That's right, Tom. A notorious killer, or killers known for targeting the elderly in their homes, has struck again. No signs of forced entry seem to indicate that they are being led into the homes at the will of their victims, possibly under the ruse of needing help. Now, viewers should remember to always take caution when opening their doors to strangers. Well said, Craig. In other news, it's going to be a dry week, folks. Me. Did you ever get a hold of some? So for those of you watching at home, I'm Tom Andrews. And I'm Craig Roberts. Be safe out there. Continuing our story from last night, 71-year-old Sheila Jackson was found murdered in her home. Police say she was stabbed to death. Boy, Craig, I tell you, if I were an old-timer in this town, I would definitely think twice about opening my door. Hey, buddy. Can I get some help? Hi, friend. My car's broke down and my cell's dead. I was wondering if I could use your phone. It looks brand new. <laughs> yeah, probably a factory defect or something. Well, uh, I'm fairly handy. I, I could come out and take a look. No, better to call a mechanic. Besides, looks like rain. You mind if I come in? I'm sorry. This is a bad time. I assure you, this won't take long. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you willing to help a stranger. My name's John. It's no trouble, John. No, really. With all that stuff going on in the news, you just never know who's gonna walk right through your door. I mean, what would drive a person to do something like that? It takes a special kind of belief system. It's beyond me. <laughs> Are you alone here, Mr. Uh, Frank, J just Frank. Are you alone here, Frank? Yes, at the moment. Family out? I, I, Do you expect them back anytime soon? I'm not entirely sure. 
You need to use the phone. How old are you, Frank? Uh, 64. Wow. I bet you've seen a lot in your 64 years, haven't you? Friends, relationships, unforgettable experiences. You know, a man could die happy with all that. Uh, the uh, phone's around the corner. Right. Could I get your address, friend? You know what? It's written right here. Are you leaving me, Frank? Uh, just putting some tea on. Oh. Okay. He's definitely our next target. Yeah, well, now's your cue. I don't want to have to do this without you again. My partner's on his way. He helps me with things. Uh, so where were we? Oh, your family. Uh, they'll be home any minute, I'm sure. You love them dearly, don't you? Yes. What? And you would do anything to protect them, I bet. Sure. Well then, we should get this done before they show up. Get this done? Frank, I'm going to be honest with you. There's nothing wrong with my car. Oh, my partner's here. He got here fast. <laughs> What's going on? Frank, let's face it. You're going to die. So why not be insured? Jeff, pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Frank, in today's world, it pays to have life insurance. Now, your family is going to be heartbroken enough with all the bills and fees that they're going to be slammed with after your inevitable death. Now, I know you want to take care of them the best you can. And this is how you do it. What? Sir, I know it's a scary thought. Nobody wants to come to the realization that they are going to die one day. Frank, I want to apologize for not being completely honest with my intent. I mean, it's hard enough to get our foot in the door, so sometimes, well, we have to improvise. Especially with that killer on the loose. <laughs> Trust us, he's made our job a lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should have had life insurance. Huh, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Frank, I wish we could have swayed you. <laughs> I'm just not in the market, I'm afraid. You've been an excellent host. Thanks for everything. Sure. Goodbye, Frank. Have a nice day. Funny old man. Yeah, I wonder why their houses always smell like bleach. <laughs>